G'day, this is another update for my LED scanner for Night Rider replica cars. In this video I thought I'd just go over some of the features that I've managed to implement um, since last time. So let's uh, start her up. Hopefully you can uh, hear Kit's sound effects going just after the scanner starts up and that's time to kick in after the scanner starts and not as it's starting just like you've probably seen on the TV and as you can hear again it repeats um, every few seconds so some extra features I've added in are the ability to from the key fob remote um, change the speed and the comet trail of the scanner so as you can see I can slow it down, or rather change the comet I should say. As you can see with each button press it gets shorter and shorter. And so you can fine tune this to what you like. I like it about there. And if you want to, we can change the speed as well. So we can incrementally slow down. And start speeding up. Um, other things we can do too, uh, change the color and I think just for the video I'll turn the uh, scanner on, um, audio off so I've got a few color presets in there at the moment and we can change the color from the key fob so there we've got yellow green blue purple magenta uh, brown orange and white and then we cycle back around to red and the other thing you can do too is change the brightness oh sorry no that wasn't the brightness button that's what happens when you try and put too many features in your scanner in your, um, from a key fob um, this is one of the color demos um, you can do and we can cycle um, between all of them by pressing the button again so this is an, another effect with um, glitter this is strobing between lots of uh, different colors And back to the um, well-known kit scanner. I think it was the the D button I was meant to do the long press on. So hopefully you can see with the camera here, the scanner is changing brightness. So that's full brightness now. And that, as you can see, should be quite dim. That's 25% brightness. So I can go back up to 50. It's 50. 75 and that's 100% brightness so I'll just turn it down again because it's a bit bright looking at that um, so that's what I've managed to fit in so far what I'm thinking of doing is releasing this with a um, controller that has the fixed preset colors has some audio samples built in you can change the brightness comes with a control box that has an LCD display and controls on it where you can change certain features um, and that's about it um, probably no amplif audio amplifier although there will be an audio out and then perhaps a pro version of the scanner controller which does uh, everything I've just mentioned plus you can through your phone or tablet etc change the um, color presets 
and you can have a lot lot more audio samples and be able to choose between them possibly looking at the ability to upload your own into the scanner um, will provide a, a decent amplifier considering also having the scanner to be externally activated so if you've got a um, PIR sensor and you want it to be turned on automatically when someone walks past the car you can do that or if you want to have a button somewhere else um, in your car to turn the scanner on and off then you can do that too um, also considering adding the turbine sound effect into the scanner controller as well and having an amplifier on board will be um, pretty mandatory to have that and have the scanner also to control any auxiliary d devices that um, you might have um, hooked up to your car as well um, so that's roughly about it. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, let me know. Cheers.